Corner Mike, and it's another Coach's Corner. This is week number eight of the season, episode number nine of the Coach's Corner. I hope you've enjoyed the Coach's Corner so far. We are busting them out. It's coming toward the end of the season already. It's a little chilly out here, but not too bad. I'm in a short sleeve shirt. Only reason why is because I know my guest today, Coach Leonard, will be wearing his short sleeve shirt and his sweatpants like usual. He is a fashion thumbs up. All right, big loss last week against Seahome. We're gonna talk to Coach Leonard a little bit about that. Crosstown rivals beat the other school. We didn't get that accomplished, but we did make some unbelievable improvements in a very stormy night. Also, we've got a big game this Thursday night at seven o'clock at Civic Stadium, not Friday night, not a typo there or a blooper, Thursday at 7 o'clock, Civic Stadium, Bellingham Bayhawks versus Marysville Pilchuck. The Pilchuckers will be here. They are one win, six losses. We are one win and six losses. 0-5 in league. They're 0-5 in league. So it could be a game of what we're looking for, another win. And a league W, our first one since we came back into the league this year. Um, Gonna try to have a couple special guests along with Coach Leonard. And of course, like usual, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and share us with a family member. We'd love to be able to have you share us with a hundred people. That would be really cool, wouldn't it? And of course, of course, I want to thank my sponsors. Import and Classics, right here on Ohio Street, just down from Bellingham High School. If you're looking for a classic car or an import, you need to go see our guys in Import and Classics. Les Schwab Tire, go see Mike on James Street. Les Schwab Tire, they'll take care of you anywhere in Whatcom and Skagit County, but our guy Mike on James Street is where you want to go. Also, Lewis Auto Glass, Mount Vernon, Linden, and right here on downtown State Street in Bellingham. Go see those guys. Go see Bell Bridal, JB Formal Wear, over in Fairhaven. Get anything you need for that special occasion. Go see Anna over there. She'd love to talk to you. Tell her Uncle Mike sent you. Also, Pro Lions Pacific Rim Orthopedic. Go see our guys, Dr. Van Hofwagen and his staff over there at the orthopedics. They are great Pro Alliance Pacific Rim Orthopedic. They're absolutely fabulous. I'd like to thank all my sponsors. Couldn't do it without you. I could, but it's not as fun. I'll be right back. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. Uncle Mike here, Coach's Corner number nine, week eight of our regular season. And we are joined today by the captain of the team, Gabe Van Hofwagen, the big wagon. Um, he is a senior, and he had his senior night celebration last week against Seahome. Kind of a rough one to uh, yeah, <laughs> your yeah. senior night. Um, let's talk a little bit about being a senior. Um, yeah, it's it comes with a lot of leadership, but it comes with a lot of opportunity. You know, opportunity to show guys like the ropes of how to play football. I mean, a lot of guys come to ask questions, and it's like just kind of a good teaching opportunity, good leadership opportunity. Um, it sucks that it's my last year. But, uh, I mean, I could do this forever. I wish I could do it forever. Uh, hopefully I'll go play in college. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it's a good opportunity to lead and to, and to learn. So, Rough night to play on Friday night. It was windy and rainy. I mean, the wind was blowing and the rain was coming up and down and sideways. It was crazy. Yeah, it was. I mean, I think there was a tree, like, across the way that snapped mid-game. And I heard that, and I was like, I thought someone, like, hit someone else really hard, but it was just a tree. Um, but, uh, yeah, no, that was pretty horrible. Probably the worst weather I've ever played in. So. And you're right, the cops came, and I'm talking about the cops on the broadcast because I thought something bad was going on, and then the guy who was doing color with me, Nick Jern, said, oh, no, they were just coming to pick up the tree. Yeah. Yeah, it was crazy, crazy weather. Crazy ball game, tough way to go, not being able to pick up a win against Seahome, but but you got a great chance this week against Marysville Pilchuck. Yes, we do. I mean, they, they're a conference team in the, in the Northwest Conference, so they're always going to be tough. They're always going to be – a challenge. I mean, we can't take any team lightly in, in this conference, like the SEC of Washington, uh, is, what, is what Leonard <laughs> calls it. Is. So uh, we can't take any team lightly. But I mean, I think this is a great opportunity to pick up our first conference win. So I know you're a little upset. I won't say pissed off, yeah. but you're a little yeah. upset, a little wound up. I like that. I mean, that's the way you should be, right? I mean, you're one and six. Yeah. You're not happy with being one and six. Tell me what you guys got to do to change that one and six to two and 
six. Yeah, I think it all starts in practice. Um, I mean, Leonard says it all the time. It starts in warm-ups, like the, the attitude that we have, the mentality, the focus that we bring every practice. I think we need to, I mean, just little things, run into the ball faster after you break the huddle, uh, getting in between water breaks and indies faster, just like maximize our time, just focus in general, and that will translate on game day because you practice how you play. So. Yep. So tell me a little bit about what Gabe Van Hopwagen is going to do after he graduates. Um, hopefully go to college and play football somewhere, study business, uh, hopefully uh, finance or economics or marketing, something like that, um, and then play football, um, hopefully somewhere in the Midwest. My family lives out there, so hang out around them and just, uh, yeah, continue to, to play sports and, and learn. And we know Grandma and Grandpa Van Hopwagen watch the show, yep. and we sure appreciate them and all the family you got in the Midwest that watches. We really appreciate that as well. Well, you know, it's been great having you. You're one of my favorites. I love you and really appreciate how hard you work. I mean, I talked about it on the show. You're injured, banged up. You just don't care. You just keep playing. Keep it up, all right? The rest yes, of your sir. life, remember what you learned between the white lines. Yes, sir. Thanks, sir. Thank you, baby. All right, Gabe Van Hopwagen, not Gabriel Van Hopwagen, but Gabe Van Hopwagen, the wagon. We need to hook our wagons to the wagon this week to beat Marysville Philchuck. I'll be right back. Hey, Uncle Mike with an exclusive. I've got the future. What high school are you going to go to? Ferndale. Oh, Ferndale. Hey, give me a Bellingham kid, will you? <laughs> <laughs> All right, big guy, introduce yourself. My name's Isaac Gandy. Isaac, what position do you play? Middle linebacker. Yeah, how, how, how mean are you? Look at, I mean, you got skull and crossbones on your helmet. How tough are you? Pretty tough. Pretty tough? How tough? Tell me how you did last game. I got five sacks and then five pancakes. Yeah? Even though he's a Ferndale kid, we'll let that pass, all right? Because that's exactly what the Knights program does. It builds football players for every high school throughout the entire Whatcom County area. All right, tell me your favorite thing about playing football. Contact. Contact. So you like to hit. Yeah. Yeah? Are you an offensive guy? I mean, I'm a tight end. I don't really play that much offense, though. But you like to hit. Yeah, I like yeah. to hit. Who's your favorite football player? <sighs> Probably Lamar Jackson because he's really shifty. Yeah, very shifty, isn't he? Yeah, if you, if you had a fantasy team, that's the guy you want to be your quarterback, huh? Probably. All right, who do you got this week? Um, I think we have a bye week this week. Bye weekend. week? All right. Oh, you guys are getting close to the playoffs, aren't you? Yep. Yeah. We got first next week is our playoffs. Playoffs. But we That's have why a you got to buy this week. Yeah. yeah. We're six and zero right now. Six and zero. Oh. You guys are tough. I appreciate you coming by and give me a few seconds of your time. All right. All right, man. Thanks a lot. Appreciate you. Yep. Yep. There we go. A Ferndale kid on a Bellingham show. You got to like that. We don't care about who you are. What do you? Where do you guys go to school? Bellingham. Come on over here, all you Bellingham guys. Come on over here. Hurry up. Stand right there on that black. Look at the camera. Okay, we're just going to go down the line here, and you're going to tell me who you are. All right? My name's Daquan. I go to uh, Shucks in uh, middle school, and I play football. Yeah, no kidding. You play football. What position do you play? Uh, receiver, safety, slash middle linebacker. There you go. You're a good middle linebacker, too. All right, big guy. This is one of my favorites. Give me your name. Uh, my name's Carter. And... Carter, Carter, do you have a last name? Uh, Brummel. Brummel, that's right, Carter Brummel. And he likes to play first base yeah. in baseball, huh? Yeah. Yeah, like Big Red, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> what position do you play in football? I play tight end and middle linebacker. Yeah, very good. Do you like to hit? Yeah, I do. Yeah, all right. Don't hit with your head, though, right? All right, tell me who you are. Uh, my name's Wyatt Bowie. Yeah, what position do you play, Wyatt? I play corner and safety. Okay, corner and safety. Are you a tough corner? Mm, kind of. Kind of? You're working on it? Yeah. Yeah, that's good. All right. Are you guys all Bellingham guys? Yeah. Yeah. Tell me who you are. My name is Spencer Washburn. Look at the camera. My Spencer name's... Washburn. All right. Tell me what position you play, Spence. I play tight end and defensive end. There you go. And you're going to go to Bellingham? Yeah. Good. All right. We're going to look forward to having you here in a couple of years. Tell me your name. My name is Jaden Delaney. Um, I play wide receiver and linebacker. Yeah? Yeah. You like to hit? Yeah. Yeah? Pretty fun. Yeah. Pretty fun. You get some sacks? Sometimes, yeah. Sometimes, very good. All right, you guys are all undefeated, huh? Yeah. Yeah, you go to the playoffs here in the, this next week? Yeah. Good. Well, we wish you good luck, and we're going to try to come out and do another one of your ball games. all right? Yeah. All right, thanks so much for being a part of the show. Uncle Mike will interview anybody. Just come on by when we're here on Mondays and just talk it up. We're talking football. I'll be right back. 
Welcome back to the Coach's Corner. Uncle Mike here with my favorite guest, Coach Adam Leonard. <laughs> well, we've had some rough ones throughout the years of doing the Coach's Corner. This, this Monday is not any exception. It's uh, probably the toughest one. I've watched the fellas uh, talk to Gabe Van Hofwagen. Uh, one and six is kind of kicking people's rear ends. I know it's kicking yours. Um, let's talk a little bit about what happened on Friday night in the monsoon of Civic Stadium. Thank goodness it's not like the old days when I played there because it was nothing but grass. Grass was a lot like Linden was on Friday night. But let's talk a little bit about Seahome. You know, well, going into it, we knew it was going to be a tough game. They're a great team. They are well coached. They got a bunch of fantastic athletes on that team. Um, it, it, you know, we knew the weather was going to be a factor, and it was a factor for both teams. You know, it wasn't like we yeah. played when the weather was turned on and then they turned it <laughs> off for for Seahome. Um, but it was epic conditions, I would say. Uh, we actually, I had meetings early in the day. I didn't even tell this, the, the 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 players this, but. Civic shuts down when they get 30 mile an hour sustainable winds, and we were right at that threshold with 50 mile an hour gusts, and then the rain came pouring down. But I think the the principals decided, hey, we need to finish this game off, <laughs> and it was it was just, I mean, I only seen rain and wind like that one time, and it was when my son was playing for Squall to come, and it was against Linden the, when his sophomore year he got actually got in the game that game, and it was torrential. But yeah, um, yeah it's a tough game. It slowed it slowed everything down. I don't think there was a game this weekend in Whatcom County where a quarterback had more than like 80 yards passing, and that was yeah. Nolan. You know, I, we we held him, you know, five of 17 from the from the field, and and I, I don't know if we held him or Mother Nature held him, but but yeah, either way, any way you slice it, you know, um, it was it was a tough game, and um, you know, we came out in the short end. We come back, and found what, I mean, what a you know, play number three. Joe steps in front of a Nolan Wright ball, pick six. Crowd's going crazy. I say the what crowd. There wasn't much crowd wasn't there. Much crowd, yeah. No, it was a little bit lighter, lighter crowd. I think people decided to stay home in front of the fire that night. But um, it got us going. Uh, we just had really trouble moving the ball in those conditions. You know, we had trouble running the ball. Uh, Joe played his butt off in terms of running the ball, getting some really positive plays, uh, but couldn't really throw the ball into the wind too much. Ben threw the ball seven times to you know for 15 yards. And that's all we really could do in that in those conditions. But um, you know what? We have another game this week, another opportunity to beat a conference opponent. I'll tell you, this is a tough conference to play in. It's a tough conference to play in, but we're excited about the challenge, and we're be we were back to work today. Monday, had a good practice. I know you talked a little bit about it today, but just having the hustle factor, having the sense of urgency, as I call it, do you, do you feel like at the end of the second quarter, do you think you kind of fell apart not having that sense of urgency? A little bit, yeah. I think we had, you know, we had that, we had that initial, you know, that it's like a little bit of a sugar rush that yeah. we had, you know, yeah, with that pick six, yeah. and then you know they come down, they score, and they scored again. And you know, the thing that with us, I was like, you know what? There's such turning points in the game. We get down there, we have a great drive. Yeah. You know, we get down there, and I'm, you know, contemplating, do I go for it here on fourth down, or do I, you know, just go for some points? And then I put our pressure on our sophomore kicker. He did a great job. He comes in, and I never seen this Wins before. In his face. The ball looked like it just hung up in the air and it like floated. It went around, and then it hit the pole on the back side. post on the backside. Never seen anything in my life. That's the most bizarre thing in the world. It looked like a Disney movie. It did. It, lo it looked like 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 angels in the outfield. Yeah, yeah. It moved, and then it went around yeah. and came back. And you know, we get that three points right there. We go in at fourteen to ten. That's a, I think it's a momentum shift. So this is what this game's about. Is right? getting those getting those little victories and help moving along, but. I think after missing that one, and, and then the weather really picked up in the second half. No one scored until in the fourth quarter. It was just, it was just, it was a tough. Wind at their back, right? Yep. yep. And it was so bad that even when Seaholm was at fourth and twelve on their only 20, 25, they were going for it, yep. and because they knew that kicking a punt might lose them even more yards. Right. Right. <laughs> so, the air. Yeah. Yep. It was, it was a crazy, a crazy uh, game. Okay, so let's talk about injuries from Friday night. I saw that we were a little light at practice today. Mm -hmm. We were, uh, Carlos is nursing an injury, and Tyler Frost is nursing an injury. Um, their status is unknown right now. They should be back on Thursday. Uh, they're just kind of airing on the side of caution, sitting out of practice today, but I think they'll be ready to go, and we'll be taping them up. I don't think there's any breaks or anything. It's just, you know, some bumps and bruises and some, you know, and along the way, but they should be ready to go Thursday. Short week. How do you prepare? Well, you have to have three full practices. No, you know, we didn't even do film today. We got right into it. We, need to, we ran a lot of offense today. Tomorrow we'll come back and we'll we'll uh, run through um, Marysville Pilchuck's play cards and all the offense they run and be prepared for them. And then we'll have another full practice on uh, Wednesday, and then it's out to Thursday. I, 
you know, not I actually like the short week because I get to go play another game and get this taste out of my mouth. And, <laughs> get it over with. Yeah, of, of losing. So, yep. yeah. So they're 1-6. and six, They're 0-5. Oh they're identical to us. I mean, it's definitely one of those ones that's grabbable for us. Absolutely. You know, we, we, we treat each opponent the same. You know, we prepare for them. We get ready for them. We know their record. But I told the guys at the end of practice today, this is the Northwest Conference. This is the toughest conference in the state. <laughs> don't think you're don't think you're going to come in there and roll these guys. They're a very good team, you know. And you know they've taken their lumps recently, but uh, they're a team that they're probably thinking the same thing. Yeah. We're playing Bellingham. They're the same record. So we, if we have the right mentality, we go in there and play our game. We should come out victorious. But if, uh, I told them I said we can't overlook these guys at all. This is a this is a huge game for us and for our program. What's the weather supposed to be like? I just checked my phone. It's supposed to be partly sunny to cloudy. I'll take it. <laughs> Yeah, it's not, it's not biblical. <laughs> no, it's not. That was, I mean, we almost thought it was going to be biblical yeah, by the time I, we were done. The river was pretty high out I of was, my house. I was trying to find a friend to build an ark so we can float <laughs> out of there. <laughs> All right, so we got a few injuries. We're going to be back. Tell me what Marysville Pilchock runs. Well, you know, they run like a power wing, you know, you know, or a power, power formation out of the, out of a, out of a spread. Um, they're, they run the ball really well. They've got some big guys up front, and they like to run behind those guys. Um, their quarterback is, uh, you know, he's not the most, the most, he's not a, you know, spread it out type passing quarterback, but he can run, and uh, he likes to run behind the big guys up front. But uh, they, they expect them to run the ball, run the ball hard. Yeah. I was in, I was, I was trying to emulate you today. But you, yep. you know, yep. no sleeves. It's like 47 degrees outside and starting to rain, as Miss Sarah says. It's raining. All right, Coach, here it is. Tell me what you've got to do offensively to beat Marysville Pilchuck. Well, we, we need to have a more balanced attack. And I think what we're going to see, especially if the weather cooperates, we're going to see us get to back to where we were successful a couple weeks where, you know, we, we made that switch. Benjamin threw almost 200 yards. Joe had 167 of them. Then we come out in our win over Granite Falls. We throw for 222. Then we go out to Burlington for almost 200 yards there. And that's what we need to get back to. We need yep. to get back to doing what we have. We have some great receivers, but we're not going to abandon the run game. We need to run the ball as well, too. We need to make sure we're, you know, running the ball, set up the pass, passing the ball, set up the run, you know, and make sure we have a good balanced attack. But we might lean a little bit heavier, especially the weather cooperates on our passing attack, which I believe getting the ball quickly out to our, some of our, our, our stud guys will be important. Yeah. All right, last thing. Senior night was last Friday night. I know you had a bunch of seniors. Tell me your thoughts about the senior class. Great group of kids. Love these seniors. So when I started here, they were sophomores a couple of years ago. Um, they were great as juniors. You know, I got to coach my own son who was a senior last year, and I get to coach my other son right now. My third one's right over there on the field. <laughs> and uh, get to coach him later. But um, – just all, all, all the ten seniors that were out there getting, getting recognized for all their accomplishments is great. Just a great group of guys, great group of kids. Uh, they're on to big and better things. Uh, I'd talk about each individual person, but I'd be here all night all talking. Night, yeah. yeah, but just some, just some great kids out there, and I really want them to see us. You know, try to finish this thing. Home. Wouldn't it be great to finish three, three straight and finish this season out? You know, on a, on a real positive note. And it starts Thursday night, and I think, uh, I think that we have what it takes. And I, I just um, keep their focus, keep their. Keep the eye on the prize, which is week by week. Take it one and zero. If we get one and zero this week, I think it's going to build into another rivalry game against Qualcomm. Coach, sure appreciate you, buddy. I know it's been tough. It's been tough for me. <laughs> it's been tough for all of us. But you know what? It's 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 fun. It's football. There's no better no better sport to be out there playing. And right now, Friday Night Lights is the best. Thursday Night Lights this yeah. week. Yeah. Uh, so Thursday night is cool because you get a lot of. Uh, a lot of other students that don't play till Friday, they'll come out and watch us, and it should be a good crowd and a lot of fun. Good. Thanks, Coach. I Thanks, appreciate, Mike. appreciate you, brother. It. Yep. Hey, I'm going to be right back. Have you had a fall, sprain, or break? Skip the emergency room and go straight to the experts. ProLiance Pacific Rim Orthopedic Surgeons. With walk-in, same-day orthopedic care, you won't have to wait for the treatment you need. Since 1968, Pacific Rim Orthopedic Surgeons has provided compassionate and exceptional care in our community. Our team is here for you when you need us most. ProLiance Pacific Rim Orthopedic Surgeons. Hey, welcome back. Uncle Mike here, Bellingham High School, Coach's Corner. You know, it was tough today. It's a Monday. We play Thursday. But what was really tough is all of the guys and being one and six. 
it's really sticking to them, as you saw with Coach Leonard and as you saw with Gabe Van Hopwagen. I just want to say thanks to Gabe Van Hopwagen for stepping up, being that captain that he is, that leader that he is, coming out and giving me a few minutes of his time. I know nobody wanted to. I don't even think Coach Leonard really wanted to, but he did as well. Um, I want to say I'm sorry to Owen Hanstead. In the box on Friday night, throughout the rain and everything else that was going on, I thought Owen had got ejected from the football game. He did not get ejected ejected he is going to be able to play thursday night at seven o'clock at civic stadium so come on out and make sure you see owen hanstead knock himself around a couple of those marysville pilchuckers all right because he's going to do it also i want to thank the knights for joining me that young team is going to go into the playoffs here and i'll tell you they're going to be a force to be reckoned with we're going to try to do another another mmb broadcasting production from one of their playoff games um here later on in the next couple of weeks, uh, weather permitting, because Sarah, she's a fair weather producer. Uh, she only allows me to work in somewhat uh, light rain as it is right now. All right. Thanks, everybody, for watching. We appreciate it. Please share us. Give us a thumbs up. Subscribe. And most importantly, let your family know about us because we're here for you. Thanks so much to my sponsors. Uncle Mike saying goodbye now.